Well, we're talking all about Father's Day today, but in honor of International Father's Mental Health Day tomorrow, it's important to remember that fathers in our lives have difficulties that come along with parenting. Here to discuss the importance of men's overall mental health and ways to support the dads in our lives is mental health counselor Shirley Brogan with Oakland Family Services. Hi, Shirley. Hi, good morning. Thanks for being with us today. Now, as more dads have been working from home during the pandemic, they've often had a lot more on their hands when it comes to raising and supporting their family. How have you seen this have an impact on father's overall mental health? Can you hear us, Shirley? Well, yes, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Uh, we had a little bit of a delay there. Sorry about that. Okay. Uh, I have two words that I like to use. They both start with E. One is exhausted. We're all exhausted these days. Uh, one of my colleagues says, all hands on deck all the time for everything. And for dads, this isn't the father challenges that your grandfather or even your father had. The world is very different in 2021. The other E is expectations. Um, looking as dads as an individual, what my family might need and desire, what my community needs and desires. I encourage dads and men in general to be very realistic uh, with what they can do and what they can't do. Be, no. realist <laughs> be realistic, creative, resourceful, extremely flexible, understanding that change is the only constant. Speaking of expectations, that second E word you mentioned, Shirley, instead of the traditional gifts or sending get dad on, on, on a golf trip, um, you actually suggest doing something a little different for Father's Day, talking about how dads are feeling, talking about their needs. What are some things that families can do to check in today instead of just giving a gift? Well, again, I, as a family counselor, I talk about communication and in-person interaction. Let's think of it as family day. There can be some specific things that the family and dad has planned, uh, a camping trip, a barbecue, uh, going to an amusement park, something where they planned ahead. There can also be informal things. Uh, one of my dad's, his favorite thing to do with young kids is to play hide and seek. Um, and again, your role as dad, particularly today, may vary. If you're a dad with a single daughter who's graduating from high school, you may be doing a graduation party today. If you're a dad with five kids under the age of seven, you're going to be doing a few different things. Spend some time, have some fun. Shirley, what are some of the signs that the fathers or father figures in our life may be struggling with mental health? What are things we should be looking out for? Well, for adults in general, tiredness, uh, poor sleep, poor appetite, irritability, um, poor concentration, and especially an increase in use of drugs or alcohol or what we call process addictions, gambling, the internet, something that somebody might use to kind of relieve the pressure for the moment, but it can create its own problem. And Shirley, before we go, obviously, I know Oakland Family Services has a lot of community services they provide all around Southeast Michigan. On this topic of father's mental health, what are some resources that are available? Well, I challenge anybody to go to our website, openfamilyservices.org. We're celebrating our centennial this year, so there are resources in our programs for children, teens, adults. Take a look at our programs, read some of the biographies of our staff, and then there's a number there where you can call, talk to our customer service representative, and get started. Shirley Brogan with Oakland Family Services, thank you so much for your time. Important reminders there. Thank you, and happy Father's Day to all our father figures. Absolutely. Thanks so much.